problem is when you grow corn, you know, you're, you got this big, huge plant, and all you're using are those kern little tiny corn kernels, and you're only using even part of that okay. when you ferment it. So you're actually just using the food. <laughs> you're just using the food. So a much smarter way of doing it, a much more efficient and sustainable, is to use more of all those other materials, all those plant walls, what we call the cellulose. The cellulose material is not only the, the crop material, you know, the crop residues, you know, like the corn stalk and so on, but better yet is actually growing dedicated crops for energy, grasses or growing trees specifically for it. It requires less energy, less fertilizer, less water, and you can get much more energy from a hectare, acre of land that way. So the challenge is with the cellulosic materials is how do you take that material and convert it into a liquid that you want? The way that most of the work is going right now is they take an enzyme and they use that to break down the plant walls and then they ferment it. Okay. Is anybody doing this at commercial scale globally? Well, you know, the research has really only expanded in the, in the last decade or so. And the U.S. government is subsidizing it. They've been funding different uh, demonstration plants. Um, but it's still, the total quantity is very small. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, we're talking now, I think this year the U.S. produced 25 million, 30 million gallons of ethanol from cellulose. Okay. You know, compared to 10 billion right. Right. of the corn ethanol. But there's a lot of, you know, we have policies in place to support it. We've got subsidies in place. And, you know, it's happening. Mm -hmm. I think in the end, we're going to, we the world, are going to decide that biofuels are a very, very good option. But it's never going to provide a big proportion of, of transportation okay. energy. It'll be substantial. Because in some cases, we're going to need liquid fuels. You're not going to put an electric motor right. in an airplane right. to propel it. A biomass-based fuel right. is probably the way we're going to propel our airplanes and maybe even many of our trucks.